Gardnerville police still searching for an armed suspect tonight. That suspect and one other fled from officers near 400 North and 800 West. Police saying the suspect is known to be violent and again is said to have a handgun. Now, multiple police agencies involved in that manhunt today, including a Woods Cross police officer who admitted to pulling his gun on a 10-year-old child who he thought was one of the suspects. ABC4's Brittany Johnson spoke with that child and his mother tonight. She's live at the Woods Cross Police Department. Brittany. Well, Emily, police did put out a description of those suspects. Two males, darker skinned, average build, and Polynesian. Now, Woods Cross police officer mistook an African-American child for one of those suspects and pulled out his gun. Although he never fired, the child's mother is still furious. Three, four, five, six, seven. It appears to be just another night for the Rubis family, laughing, joking while playing board games. But a few hours earlier, different emotions filled this home. Scared, nervous. DJ was playing outside and had no idea manhunt was underway. Multiple police agencies looking for suspects they considered armed and dangerous. I didn't have nothing on my hands. The entire incident happened right here in this front yard. It's where police mistook 10-year-old DJ for one of those adult male suspects, then pulled out his gun. Get down on the ground. And I was like, uh, I was so confused, I didn't even know what's going on. I was screaming, don't shoot. Jerry is DJ's mom. She heard the commotion and ran outside. And I see a police officer holding my 10-year-old at gunpoint with a pistol at his head. And I go flying out. I thought I was going to die. and never, Or I thought I was going to jail and never come back. I thought he was going to shoot DJ. The officer involved is with the Woods Cross Police Department. He didn't know he was 10 years old. This uh, this kid doesn't look 10. He looks to be older than 10 years old. Looking back, did your officer do the right thing? Uh, absolutely. Uh, on a call like this, we have uh, you know we already have shots fired. They've they've taken violent action against someone. Uh, we're out here to protect the public and ourselves uh, on calls. Uh, so we feel our officer did nothing wrong. In my immediate feeling was it was racial. Is it a crime that you're black because you're playing on the front yard? I didn't know that was a crime. And that officer was wearing a body camera. I asked, was it turned on? I was told no. Then I asked why. They said the encounter was very brief, which is something the mother also disputes. Reporting live in Woods Cross tonight, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News.